Hey, what's going on, everybody? You can find Foyer. I'm here with another Dark Profile for you guys. This is Herodic Plants. And I forgot to mention in the last video, but links to the dual videos will be in the description below in case anybody wants to see them because those are sort of old. They're still in the format. They're, you know, their format, like, two, like September 2013 format decks on uh, dual. So, but I will have them in the link in the description in case you want to check them out. Uh, after watching probably the deck profile and I don't know I don't have a tunnel I don't know why that's an option I'm using like a Firefox I don't know why that's an option if they don't even have one but anyway this is Hardic Plants now the previous one which is Hardic Rulers I do like this deck a lot more better than the previous one it's just my personal preference I do like it a little more better because it kind of utilizes the Hardic a little more effectively because the plant engine is a pretty damn good engine half the time but anyway, let's go and get jump. Let's jump started into the deck profile, and yeah, let's meet this quick. And what the fuck? That was weird. Just like randomly skipped. Anyway, so we have the triple Leo, triple Abercornway. People are racing down the street because they think it's a racetrack. If they want a racetrack, just watch NASCAR. There you go. Anyway, you have triple Basilisk, one AL, and one Twin Hit Eagle. Uh, I've explained all these cards in the previous Herodic deck profile, so I don't feel like I really need to go into them all that much. But then we have a Spore, Dandy, Lone Fire, then Double Debris Dragon. The basic plant engine, of course, if Glow Bulb was legal, I'd have played the Bulb as well. Spore, Spore, make the Lone Fire Synchros, Dandy makes the free tokens, Lone Fire just decks in his deck, and the Breeze Dragon just allows me to go nookie nookie field whenever I freaking feel like it. It is very effective. Then we have the double maxi for the draw power, and then the double effect reload for the stun. Not the, not the stun aspect, but for the effect negation. So for the spells, of course, we have the triple advanced heredity art, and then the triple heredity reborn. What the fuck is going on here? Reborn heredity is more better in this version than it is in the previous one because of the I have tuners. More tuners I can utilize, and allows me to go for easy synchros if I so need to, and it's a free way to get monsters. We have Dark Hole, Double MST, Double Land, and then a 1 for 1. Because I am, of course, playing with 1 tuners, more than just Veilers. It is a very good card to actually have in here. Really good card to combo off of Leo, which allows me to special like Veiler or Spore, Dips to Leo, the Leo's Effect, Search, and then summon a little for Moss. Essentially, deck ending my deck by Grand Total 2 cards right then and there, and allowing me to go for a level 5 Synchro. It's a really nice little card to have. For the traps, you have a Warning, Torrential, Bottomless, Compulse. Double Mirror Force, and then the double called the Haunted, which is a great card to combo off of Leo again, as well as Dandelion, which are, which is a very nice token spamming card. For the extra deck, we have an Armadius Keeper Boundaries, Ally Just Catastar, Black Rose Dragon, Formula Sneaker for the extra draw power. We have a Sardis Spark Dragon and then a Jeweled Red Dragon Archfiend. I'm not playing the Scrap Dragon just because I do like the Jeweled Red Dragon, but I had to make room. Odds are I'll probably scrap the formula just for a Scrap Dragon, but I'm just liking this a little bit more better as of right now. Then, of course, we have the number 8, the Lightning Chidori, Diagnosed to MRL, Gagaga Cowboy, Black Ship of Corn, number 39, Lovable Chain, Maystroke, and then a Poppy. Overall, I like this deck a lot. It's got a nice little balance of Synchro and Exceed. It's still a mainly Exceed-focused deck, but it adds a little bit of a Synchro element into it to give it a little more diversity and to kind of allow me to go for different things that I may need to go into. Like if I need a Black Rose Nuke, I can do it. If I need to go for all my DS or Catastor, I can do it a little more effectively than I could with, say, other Herotic decks that just run Veiler and stuff like that. Overall, it's a really fun deck. I do like this deck a lot. Feel free to try and do your own little twist. La, 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 la. This is the reason I put these, post these decks up uh, for you guys, for other people to see. So you may have ideas, stuff like that, to make the deck better. Or you may be looking for a deck to use yourself. Anyway, um, not much to say about this deck. It's pretty much hard to plan into. There's nothing I have to really say. So anyway, like always, give me your thoughts in the comment section below. As well as, like, any hit attempts or just, you know, to make that better, help improve, you know, definitely try out suggestions. And in the description will be the replay dual videos of said deck. Last time would be the rulers, this one is the plant variant. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.